In December, his father died. We can assume that this event had deprived the artist of another pillar in his emotional balance. In these years, Monk refuses treatments. He feels that his disorders are so deeply part of his personality that he would be able to live and create without. One of the crucial discussions when it comes to psychoanalysis and art is about the role of mental disorders in the creative power of artists. My opinion is that personality diseases are an obstacle to the talent, not an aid as usually considered. The artist himself, as any human being, risks to identify his creativity with his disease. My opinion is based on the fact that a personality disease is other than pain, sorrow or disappointment. The letters are for sure part of the creativity as far as they are a free emotional flow, while personality diseases are obstacles to the inner freedom to feel and express emotions. Unfortunately, the majority of people cannot perceive this distinction, bearing their diseases as inexorable fate. We should imagine Munch's art as the expression of the parties of his personality that were not affected by his diseases, as the parties that fought against the diseases. Munch confirms this opinion with his own words. I am of the opinion, however, that my art is not sick. When I paint, sickness and suffering are on the contrary a healthy resource. At the age of 45 in 1908, we have records of his worst mental crisis, a prolonged psychotic condition. While in Copenhagen, he felt persecuted. He believed that passers-by were plotting against him. His talent was under severe threat the so numerous tragedies from his past, the unsolved conflicts hidden in his unconscious, came to the reality, attacked his self and his possibility to perceive his emotions and the outside world. 